dalam kita menggunakan penceritaan untuk menarik perhatian audiens kita, kita tak boleh tersasar jauh daripada objektif message tersebut. Apa uh-huh. subjek matter dia? Jadi, untuk kami, reference kami selalunya burger. If my radio station were giving out Coldplay tickets, this is how I would sell it. Coldplay, coming to Malaysia 22nd of November, they're going to be at Aziata Arena, Bukit Jalil. That's the first layer of the bottom. Roti atas, okay. Right? So you already know the details, mm. right? This is where I draw you in and get you interested if you're not a Coldplay fan. Okay, dagingnya. Yeah, so think about this. You don't have any plans on the 22nd of November. It's a Saturday night. You maybe have a hot date then and you're thinking, oh, yo, you know, it's the end of the month. I may not have that much money. Where am I going to take her? Well, we already made plans for you. If we're giving you tickets to Coldplay, that's a free date right there, man. Oh, you got me hooked, bro. Okay, back to the roti. Okay. So remember, when is it again? 22nd of November, Aziata Arena, Bukit Jalil. Be there early, 7pm is when doors open. Now, why burger as a reference? Sebab kalau kita makan burger, daging tu yang bahagian sedap. Yeah. Correct? Roti tu, kalau tak ada, tak jadi burger. <laughs> you still need the bread. If you notice, Syara Arnold ni, bahagian yang roti dua tu, dia tidak menggunakan terlalu banyak penceritaan atau komedi. Mm. Sebab message tu harus sampai begitu. But it's a balance, right? Mm. We need to put those two together in order to get a good juicy burger. Yeah. yeah. In this case, a good juicy message.